Hello and welcome to this Hints and Tips video. I'm Colin Evans, a Senior Applications Engineer with Solid Applications. Today we're going to look at SolidWorks customization to aid in increased productivity. To access the customization and enable mouse gestures, first select the drop down next to the SolidWorks options. Select Customize and then select the Mouse Gestures tab. First, check that there's a tick next to Enable Mouse Gestures. I have my Mouse Gestures set to 8, but this can be changed to 2, Vertical, 2, Horizontal, 3, 4 or 12. I'll change mine back to 8. My typical or general workflow for creating a drawing is first create the model, then I'll create a new drawing, then I'll add the necessary views, add some auxiliary views, finishing off by annotating the drawing views. This is my mouse gestures that I use for creating drawings. Okay, let's take a look at mouse gestures in action. First one I'll show you, even in the part environment, I do have my mouse gestures set up on here so again I can go straight to my isometric which will fit the view as well. Uh, if I zoom out using my wheel on my mouse a double middle mouse button click will fit the view also or simply pressing F on my keyboard will fit the view as well. So typically when I want to create a drawing I'll go to file, make drawing from part but you can see I have created a keyboard shortcut, which is Control D. So instead of coming up here and changing my eye focus, I can just do a Control D on my keyboard. Choose what template that I want to use for the drawing, and also select my sheet format. Okay, so typically from here, I would normally drag from my view palette to get which views that I want. Uh, but I'm just going to use my mouse gestures on here. And the one at the uh, one o'clock position here, we've got our three standard views. Again, so I can just OK that. I can either come over here to green ticket. I can come to confirmation to green ticket. If I press D on the keyboard, it brings confirmation corner right to your cursor. Or on my mouse gestures, I selected the green tick at the six o'clock position. So that will place down my three views, my three standard views of this, uh, this part that we've created. Also, the next thing that I want to do is maybe create a projected view. So I'm going to select the projected view and I'll move uh, whichever direction that I move in. It'll give me that particular projected view. I want the isometric view from here, but I want the view to be down here. Right, so what I do, I'm going to move to the, the view that I want, hold down the control key on my keyboard, and that will allow me to position that particular projected view down in the bottom right hand corner. I'll just select that and change the rendering style on that view. Again, using my mouse gestures will now move uh, to the five o'clock position for model items. Again, on here, you can select the entire model. You can select which dimensions that you want. So all the dimensions that we used for uh, building the model up, we can actually pull them back down onto the drawing itself and use these as driving dimensions from the drawing as well as. So once I've selected that, again, I'll go to the six o'clock position and all the dimensions will be placed down. Some of them look a little bit messy in places. So I'm literally just going to wind around and select all my dimensions. And then I'll get this little heads up display that pops up and I can say auto arrange dimensions. So it's arranged all these dimensions in a nice fashion according to the standard. Some of them I still might need to just pull these into position. Let's pull that over there, pull them here. Let's drag him back over there, just like that. Again, we can line these dimensions up if we needed to. Let's drag him down. Oops, let's zoom in a little bit so we can grab hold of that. And just flick the arrows on the inside. We'll do the same with this one. 
Okay, so the hours are inside on both of those. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is a section view on here. So let's select the section view. And again, I can just right mouse button click now to accept that and place my section view down over here. This view here I don't need because you know this view is the same view if you like, but sectioned. I'm just going to select him, right mouse button click and delete that view. Okay, so this dimension here, 10, this is a driving dimension. So if I double click on the dimension, it'll allow me to type in a new value and you'll see all the views update accordingly. I've decided I don't want to do that, so I'm going to restore the original value. But if I grab this dimension with my shift key down and drag it onto another view, this will reattach itself and it's still a driving dimension. So again, if I double click on this, this dimension, I can now uh, type in a new value and you'll see all the other views update. Okay, so that's not too bad at the moment. We can just drag some of these handles across so we can drag these witness lines across on the, the centers of the hole. Just drag him in, in, oops, drag that dimension into position. Click on the end. So, not a bad looking uh, drawing so far, and it's literally taken me seconds to do. The smart dimension is always at the 12 o'clock position, so I can always go and put some extra dimensions on here if I wanted to. This is naturally dual dimensioned, so I should delete that off. You should never have two dimensions dimension in the same geometry so let's take a look at uh, the way that we actually create these customizations so on the drop down arrow next to the cog on here we're going to go to customize we've got our toolbars shortcut bars commands and so on this is where i created the control d for a new document so you can just uh, type in your search what you want to look for new this is set up as control n so you can just overwrite this shortcut on here for my mouse gestures once i select it i'm going to reset this back to the defaults so out the box the defaults are like this for the drawing they've got a, a circle balloons i don't use these so much so basically what i'm going to do is reconfigure this like we've seen earlier so for my first search on here in this little box here i'm just going to search for standard so i'm just typing in standard and in here you can see you've got the uh, standard three views so i'll drag that and drop it at this position here the next one that we had was projected so just type in projected view so it's on insert let's grab hold of that and drag him to here uh, the next one that we had over here was model items that brings back the dimensions back so model items i'll drag that over the top of the line command and uh, the six o'clock position we had okay so i'll just grab hold of that and drop it in that position i kept uh, the section view at this position and hull call outs here and up here we had a bill of material table and on here i could search down to the bottom here built insert bill of materials and just drag and drop once i'm happy with my selection in here i can simply say okay and my mouse gestures are ready for use just to recap some of the shortcuts that we've used in this uh, demonstration f on the keyboard is a fit which is the same as a double middle mouse button click and that'll fit the, the model to the view or the drawing to the view. We've got control with the D down was a new drawing. D brought confirmation corner to the cursor. Holding down the control key while adding a view will break the alignment so we can put the isometric view wherever we wanted on the document. Dragging a dimension from one view to another with the shift key down will reattach the dimension to the new view and control n was again a new document mm -hmm.